So what about like you? Just some rando. Yeah, the guy who almost got hanged. Why worry? You're standing here, aren't you? Excuse me? Look, we had no choice. If you had turned like we thought you were gonna, it would have been a massacre. I see. It was a risky situation. I get it. So? We good? We're good. Okay, so she's not actually just a rando. Okay. I noticed I could talk to her before I'm on my way out to, uh, before I killed the goat. I was like, oh god, could I talk to everybody? No. Sorry, wh who's talking? Who's looking to buy? I'll be right back. You're new here, aren't you? You'll see. This place is full of secrets. Most of them you don't want to uncover. Everybody's looking at me, weird man. Uh. How's new parents? Uh, God. I have a cousin there. Uh, shop. Because I got some stuff to, stuff to sell. I can talk to a lot of people here. Kind of like that. Uh, merchants. They do things. Also, weapons. Uh, main hubs as well as inside of science facilities and settlements. Cool. Oh yeah. yeah, they got some nice executioner's axe. Unique one-handed axe for 898 dosh, though. Didn't I have like a thousand? There was a coin I kind of, I had like a thousand of it, I thought. Well, here's this for one coin. I don't know how to repair stuff yet, so go for it. Sell all valuables, 900. And boom. A table leg, 16 damage blunt. I mean, blunt, like, I think... I think I can give you the table legs. That'll be fine. And the first mace. And also sell some spare. Spare, like, scrap? One coin per scrap? Dude, you are gonna get so hosed with that rate. Oh my god. I'm gonna be so rich. He's also selling stuff himself. He is also selling electrical parts, which I'll take both of them, because that's pretty cheap, and that's basically two weapon mods that I can make then. A gun hammer. Doesn't need ammo to bash someone's head in. Alright. The torch rare long miss. Yeah, all right. it's expensive, but all right. Beat bait draws biters and virals from far away. Remote C4. Mm. Ranger gear. Yeah, armor and stuff I'm going to see about not buying because I reckon we're going to be getting some of that through quests here pretty soon. Medic, parkour, combat, and healing. Mm. Okay, cool. Nice. Awesome. Happy to have met you. Pilgrim, aren't you? That's right. Do you hang people for that, too? Uh, I just wanted to say that I was rooting for you. Uh-huh. Thanks for standing up for me. What? But I, I didn't... Ah, I get it. Sarcasm. Look, it's not that easy to go against the crowd. Sure. I know people are scared of pilgrims sometimes, but... <sighs> Shit. You survived inside the walls. <laughs> That to be some. Affordable prices. Looking at that medicine price. So then, you, you've you got a quest. Don't recognize me? Or are you allergic to making money? Listen, Pilgrim. We can make a killing, you and me. You just need to get me some beets, radishes, parsnips. There he is. Grab him, Ed. He's a murderer. What? Julia. Luke's been poisoned. From the water you sold him, Devin says. What? But... I don't sell water. Liar! Luke told me he got it from you. Whatever's in it has him ranting and raving now. You sure he didn't blame me after he started ranting? Oh, wait a minute. 
Do you have proof? Of course. The water came in a bottle. Luke got that water in one of your bottles. When I tell Carl about this, you'll hang! Bevan, wait! I swear, I don't even sell water, damn it! If you're lying, Julian, you're fucking toast! I don't want to buy poison. Ugh, gross. Now I'll talk to them. Wait, so then, if you're not selling water, how'd someone get a hold of one of your bottles? Knowing that shithead Luke, he probably stole it. That would be like him. Even if he did, my water's pure as melted snowflakes. You sure? How do you store it? I buy bottles. There's no way it could become contaminated. Not a chance. My supplier, Marco, always has clean water. So, uh, maybe it's revenge. For what? Everyone loves me. Never had an enemy in my life. Wait a second. Wait. Shit. Except maybe Marco. That bastard. Come to think of it, he's got an axe to grind for me. It was a long time ago. Never mind. Listen. He lives above an old shop on the west end of Villador, on Houndfield Lane. I traded him a few kilos of my finest flour for the water. Prove he poisoned it and half my flour is yours. Can you do that for me? I guess I could check it out. And there's one more thing. I'm a little embarrassed. Hans might also have a bottle of this water. I thought you weren't selling it. I'm not except, well, to Hans and... Can you go warn him? He's also on Hanfield, a few buildings down. Something's fishy about this, Julian. Look, you better be telling the truth, otherwise it'll be hard to help you. All right, let's talk to Hans. <laughs> Hans and Marco. Also, this guy. So do you sell blueprints then? Buy and upgrade blueprints. Upgrading blueprints makes the items you create for them more powerful. To upgrade one, bring the required items and upgrade it. Items for used for blueprint upgrades can be looted from special infected, which are easier to find at night and marked on my map. Aha. Uh -huh. A UV bar. Hmm. Endurance booster, max stamina 10% for a minute. Fire arrows? Venom mod, flame mod. I can put it on the tip or the shaft. Maybe both? Hmm. Also a grip mod empowerment, just plus four base damage. Okay, what about upgrades? Ah, trophies. I can do that let's get medicine i suppose it takes a second less to apply it that actually sounds cool as to call for help what okay i don't i don't know and then 10 infected trophies uncommon mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay and then he's also selling craft parts. Cool. I hope to serve you again, my boy. Hands. Hands don't drink the water. Are they both like in the same ish area? Okay, yeah, they're they're both in the same ish area. Oh, an encounter down here. Are you friendly? We should, we should look. We should look out. Still coming after me, man. Oh, God! Hi. I didn't realize. Ah! Let's <laughs> get get to the encounter. Or whatever the blue thing is, at least. I think the blue things are temporary encounters. Oh, 
I hope you were hostile. Whew. Did I do it? <laughs> that was like 40% panic, 60% luck. <laughs> I gotta lockpick this. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Swinging it. Hey there, jackass. Let's go. Fight me. The hell. <laughs> I see. You're just a distraction. a while to kill. I'm gonna really like having that upgrade that I bought. Is there a dude calling for help way over there? Yeah, shit. Would you throw something at me? What a piece. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this. <laughs> really putting all of your might to open this thing. Nailed stick. Was that worth it? Boy, I don't know. I mean, my hammer is basically fucked. One nailed stick. An uncommon long stick. The crude machete. I'm uh, missing some wiring for it. Mm. Okay. But that would also... Rep yeah, it's nice that modding it gives it a bit of repair. You don't seem to spend scrap to repair weapons in this anymore. Common opportunity weapon, a throwing spear. Oh, okay. Ah! Okay, opportunity. Like, I have to use it now, though. Okay, uh... <laughs> Holy shit. That, that that worked. That was pretty okay. <laughs> you, you get any more of those? <laughs> wow. That was that was fun. It sounds very annoying over here. Hold on. We're gonna go back and, and talk to Hans before he drinks, because I think we got day-night cycles now. Damn renegades. Is everything they fine here? Me. Took everything I had. My colleague will dress your wound. He'll be as good as new. They even took my wedding ring. Because mm. we got 1712 right now, so like... I don't want to spend too much time here. Ow. Fine. Fuck you, then. There's a container very nearby, though. Just, like, some meters away. Convoy. Oh god. Excuse me. Excuse me. Pardon me. Just keep 
There's a lot of things happening here. Ow. Ow. I suck at this. There you go. There's a bit of shock. Damn it. I clicked too late. You really got to do it like as you vault over the guy. I'd like to smash one of these dudes into this barrel here, but I gotta get a lot more, uh... What do they call it? Gotta reduce their blue bar thing that they've got beneath their health. Alright, I'll be with them in just a second. There's a thing to lockpick here. Looks like quite a busy world, though. There's a lot of stuff going on. Like, so local. I wonder how much variance there is in what you find. Or if it's like sort of the same several events all the time. Scrapper Great Axe. Link. Hello. Enemies nearby. Aha. Uh -huh. Accepting this will fast forward me tonight? What? Fuck it, let's try it. Nighttime stories. While exploring the cities, come across characters marked with that icon. Nighttime stories, best completed at night. Hold T to fast forward to the night so the mission can be started right away. Mm -hmm. Hold T? F. Hey, little guy. Where are your parents? I'm not little. Okay, sure. What are you doing here alone? I'm on an important mission. Oh, a mission, huh? All right, what kind of mission? Sacred mission, of course. Super secret. And I ain't telling you. Would you tell me if I offered to help? I don't need any help. But if you gotta know, I'm fetching food for my parents. I do it all the time. No biggie. Seems dangerous. Couldn't your parents at least come with you? Nope. Like I said, no biggie. I can handle it. I can handle anything. Hey, listen, you're incredibly brave, but I'd really like to help. I suppose I could bring you on board. Heck, I could even pay you. How's that? So now kids are hiring me. Why not? What are your orders, sir? There's a shop on West Horizon Lane, just before you hit the chemical zone. I was lighting backpacks with food when those nasties showed up and chased me out. Bring me those backpacks, and I'll give you a super weapon. My dad's weapon. So, the mission's to get food for your parents. Yeah, that's right. And you can deliver it to our home. We live on the edge of the chemical zone. Only place where my parents are safe. Hmm. It would be best to get the backpacks at night, when the infected aren't around. Sure. If you say so. I don't know. But you'll do it, right? I can't promise anything. But we'll see. Ah, uh, okay. We'll see you soon, hopefully. Boom! Kid's off. <laughs> Bye, kid. All right. I'll try it, I guess. Three backpacks containing food that he left behind. Encounter failed, by the way, apparently. So where at? Oh god, kind of far away. Well, I hope he's not drinking the water. <laughs> also, we got that infection meter thing going on. Don't shout, don't shout, don't shout, don't shout, don't shout. I'm running through. Oh, 
All right, that didn't last very long. Well, hold on, you got parts? Yeah. Okay, excuse me, pardon me. I'm so sorry. Oh shit. It's actually pretty damn busy here. I should probably like not be on the ground. I still being chased, I wonder. Yes. Hold on. Shop is this way. Uh. Dark hollows and forsaken stories. Two open world locations that contain valuable loot. During the day, they're full of infected, so it's better to do it at night? Forsaken stores? Oh, stores, not stories. Rare craft parts can be used to create weapon mods and other more advanced items. Dark hollows are valuables in old world money. I'm getting fucked up. Chase level 2 now. Shit. Ah, <laughs> there wasn't anything to grab onto. Where is this place? Oh, I see. Uh, I'm totally dead, man. Uh, uh, I don't know how to get in. This is all terrible. How am I not dead yet? Okay. Oh, all right. Yeah, fine. That immunity thing's going this whole time, too. Chase level three. Okay. I think it's time to work our way toward the safe zone. And, uh... We'll have to try it again another time. <laughs> Holy shit. Nighttime bonus. Fuck all, but also lost. So, yeah. Let's... Respawn? How's this gonna work? Oh, it's kind of like, kind of like a redo. Where'd you put me? Way the fuck far away. All right. So about that. It's a lightning bolt icon. 300. I don't have enough lightning bolt for it. Oh, I don't have enough stamina for it. Weird. I'm not sure how I feel about the direction it's going, where it's like locking stuff behind. You gotta have this much for this, so you gotta do the caches and stuff not sure how i feel about that um but yeah no it'd, it'd be kind of cool to like maybe get more safe zones and stuff before we try nighttime missions um Don't know what this is, but it's a big red mushroom thing. Oh. It's actually just... It's actually just like a little... A little fire. It's... Not that exciting. <laughs> Hayden, how's it been, kid? Got a taste for city life yet? Uh, I've been here and there. You know, the best parties always happen in the center. And that's where we're going. I have a plan for how to get there. I'll tell you everything on the spot. Meet me on the roof, near the main metro station. Alright, sure. Why would you call me at night, though? Like, 
You of all people should know that that's a terrible idea. Don't ask. I don't want to talk about it. Stuff. You were able to do quite a lot of stuff uh, during the day in Dying Light 1. I'm thinking this has a lot more emphasis on doing it at night. As far as like finding cool stuff goes. Because if you just looked enough during the day, you'd end up finding everything. The, the only benefit of nighttime was like the experience multiplier that you would get. Oh, shit, that's out. I don't want to be here. Chase started. I thought I could kill him quick enough. Whoa. I don't think so. You never know what you can grab onto in this. Yeah, immunity low. I'm working on it. Ugh. Come on. No. Scoot over. Don't jump over. Hey, don't hit me. It wouldn't be fair. Get the goddamn door open. I'm gonna close this doors. I don't know where the dude is that used to live here. <laughs> I'm glad he doesn't lock his door over though. So, um, sleep? Is that not a thing I can do whenever? Because it was like hold T to fast forward it tonight, but I think that's just when it's convenient to do so. I mean, if I gotta head to the town proper, I can see about doing that, I guess. So howlers, yeah, just avoid them entirely, or like distract them and go around. Even if you think you can take them out quick, it's not worth it. Just move on. So bed icon. This bed I can use. All right. Don't know why the other dude's bed I can't. I guess because it's his house or something. Ugh. Nighttime bonus, 47 parkour and 34 combat experience. Wow, I did so good. And this quest is still active. High density of infected during the day, but I wonder like how many actually? How bad is it really? I I do have the option, it, it sounds like, which is cool. Cause then it's like with like, I was just saying with Dying Light 1, how you can generally do everything during the day. There's just a few quests that you have to do at nighttime. Uh, but really just a few. In the first dying light. And those it seems maybe generally a lot nicer. Yeah, it looks like there's a lot of stuff going on though generally. Um, it's going to be difficult to stay on, on task. Would like to go for haunts though maybe. And I'm really curious about this UV bar throwable. Because like the UV light. That's what allows my uh, my immunity thing to go back up. So would this help me with my immunity a bit as well? It only lasts eight seconds, but like eight seconds of immunity regeneration could be kind of cool. 
I feel like it's not strong enough UV lighting though or something like that, and it's just to drive away things. Um, otherwise, wasn't there something here that was also like... I guess not. I thought there was like a consumable thing that I could use to, to get it back. I don't know though, something to maybe keep an eye out for. And we have... We have enough uh, infected trophies. I could upgrade our throwing knife and do 20 damage, which is pretty okay. My my weapons currently do about 20. I think I want to save up for the medkit, though. It'll heal me for a bit more, which is pretty cool. My health is, I think, like 100 max right now. And as we progress to the game, obviously, it's going to go up quite a bit higher. I'd like it to be like a two second application, though. I think it'd be kind of cool. Weapon mods, I'm not... I don't know. I'm not so hyped about it. You know, I'm gonna buy... I'm gonna buy the UV throwable, whatever. I sold valuables for like 300 coins before anyway, so it's basically free. <laughs> that's... <laughs> that's my reasoning too, and I can upgrade it to last 10 seconds up from 2 seconds. Or up from 8 seconds. Plus 2 seconds. I don't know, maybe? Uh, Crafting-wise, is it expensive? That's a lot of things. Pigments, oxidizers, resin, scraps. Yeah, uh, I'll I will make one. <laughs> I'm I'm thinking it might help for humidity. That's a fairly expensive looking craft. And then I don't know how much of this I've got. I guess none. Looks like none. I'll make a few. So Hans is number two. Okay. And then this is like a safe house thing that I can get, right? Faction structure. Activate a save zone, but I need 160 stamina for that. And this we have no idea. I guess I'll stop by this first off along the way. Maybe we can do it. Like, this confuses me a bit that I need 160. Like, is it a parkour thing that I have to do to, like, climb up on top of it and I need at least 160 stamina to do it? It is impossible to do it with anything less? It's weird. It's weird. I mean, this is the... I think this is the one... This is, like, up by the hospital. Yeah, that was, like, on top of a skyscraper. 300 stamina for that. I don't know. I don't know. Again, I'm not too sure what to think about that stuff. It being, like, kind of soft-locked or so. Sorry, friend. I got, like, a huge cleave. I didn't really mean to hit you. I'm pretty sure they're not happy about that. Maybe they don't know. I mean, this dude was, like... hostage anyway. Are you... Are you actually, like, not a hostage? What's... Are you happy that... I guess he's happy. It doesn't look very comfortable, but who am I to judge? What's that? The book icon? And some event up there. And there's a container that's detected. Things just happen and appear. What's this short event over here? Maybe I'll take a look at the book icon later on. Forsaken store. Dark Zone. Come back at night when the affected are out on the streets. But why? What if I don't? Because, like, the zombies are pretty slow. Unless these are the super quick, fast zombies or something. Oh, hey, hi. Can't get in a sneaky hit. Uh. Uh, are you trying to distract me or something? What was that? You get away. You're a dead man. Oh. Buckle 
they don't really hurt very much. I'm sort of taking advantage of the opportunity of being able to like still learn what all I can and can't do in combat while it's still pretty easy, you know? Ooh, that kick's got some range to it. Yeah, so that was just some bandits and stuff. Bunch of experience for that, hey. Nice. Earlier when I did the quest for the... Oh, hi. When I did the quest for the kid, it said encounter failed when I accepted it. I think there was like still a bandit left or... Some dude being uh, traumatized or something somewhere that I was meant to do. But not entirely sure what that event was exactly. I didn't look around too much. I thought maybe the kid was the event. A raggedy chopper. Sure, I've got... Um... Yeah, I'll take the coins out. Heal up a bit. Didn't I get like a cool two-handed weapon from them? Some bat, some knife thing, another knife thing, some bat. Okay, I thought I got like a cool two-handed axe at one point. Ah, I did. It's just not in my... Gotcha, I can only have so many of them out at like at once. Okay. I mean, 26 damage. Seems like a lot of damage. A fairly fast block, too, because I used the handle instead of, like, the blade bit. That ain't bad. So what was the book icon, then? Inhibitor container detected. Who then? The greatest con artist alive. Hello? One day, he says, This city's full of suckers hoping for a miracle. We can take advantage of that. Anders had a plan. What plan? Lots of folk went missing after the war. I mean, look around. You can see memorials in every other street corner. Families needed to know what happened. And where there's a need, there's a business opportunity. That's sick. Have you no decency? No, oh, decency's dead, mate. It's eat or be eaten. Widows were the easiest marks. We'd pick a house with a yellow ribbon. I'd be on crutches. Anders oozing charms, saying we'd fought with their dead husbands during the war. PK? The army? The side didn't matter. For a hot meal, we'd promise to tell them what happened to their husbands. It worked every time. <laughs> They'd give us food, water, medicine, crystals, anything they had. They wanted closure. We gave it to them. The details changed, but we stuck to the same basic story. It always ended with an epic fight and some heroic act by the husband. In no time, we were richer than kings. Least, we thought we were rich. But then we hit the biggest score of all. Melinda was like every other widow we'd met. Pretty 30-something brunette, blue eyes, living near Meatpacking Square. We did our usual thing. But before we leave, she says, my husband, he was the PK treasurer. The night he died, he told me they had a war chest, medicine, crystals mostly. He'd want you to have it. You got no shame. Let him finish. I bet they were skinning for themselves. We give each other the look. It's in Houndfield, she says, but it's not safe during the day. The next night, we take Melinda to our safe house to gear up. She leads us to this dark zone near the chemical zone. It's in the basement, she whispers, shivering with fright. We tell her to stay behind, because, you know, if there's a fight, she'd just get in her way. You left her on her own? Yeah. Then we went looking for a way in. And eventually, we found it. And? There was no loot. Instead, there was a demolisher in that basement. We barely got out alive. When we got back... Melinda was gone. So was our stash. Medicine, crystals, food. She took everything. On the table, a note. Sorry, guys. Nothing personal. Just business. <laughs> the biter was bitten. Only in this case, it was a demolisher. Turns out she'd been tracking us for weeks. And we never saw it coming. Anderson and I split up after that. I bet he's still out there hustling. 
I enlisted with the PKs. But here in war stories at night, people who actually died fighting for what they believed in? It made me feel guilty every time. I've lasted two months. Now I'm back where I started before the fall. A nobody telling stories. I, I don't have a story. You're looking at me like it's my turn. I I don't even really remember my name. I'm just Aiden. Okay, I'm gonna go. So that's the book icon, just a bit of lore. Didn't really unlock anything. Just literally lore, which... Damn it. I forgot to bring snacks for patrol again. They're just telling Move stories along. over there. To see here. They're literally just telling stories, like, they, business, they're they up here. to nothing. Just thought I'd let you know. Um, well, there's arrows and stuff over here, and there's one of those tree grove things. Oh, jeez, this is how it starts. Look, guy, don't drink the water yet, okay? I'm wrestling an air conditioner. Are you... Friend? No. Shit. Pretty sure that's not a friend icon. What Dude, what a heroic oh, bolt spot. You're gonna pay for that. Who the heck? Holy yeah. shit. Throws him everywhere. I like it. Back off. I got the range. Maybe. I'm a little bit lower. Man, oh man. I saw that. He's out of here. <laughs> Hey, you, uh... Where'd you go? Oh. Just there. Oh, he's out of here. <laughs> yeah, and they heard the explosion, and... They're not too happy about it. I'm ready for you. You got, you got the good loot, right? Dude, I like this act. This is great. Just a few bags with general garbage loot, rags, scrap. Nothing too nuts and wild. And here we got generally foraging stuff. And a raggedy chopper. And some UV shrooms. Bunch of chamomile. Bit of lavender. No, uh, like actual bag or... Seems like maybe no bag, but... Some UV shrooms, which is also quite nice. Consumable to improve my immunity. And one feathers. And there is a temporary event that popped up over there somewhere. There's also a quest cover, I guess, but I'm gonna ignore that and... Maybe possibly finally get around to stopping this guy from drinking water? I sort of had like a pathologic two kind of vibe going on where I thought like you know if you if you get to the thing late then you know so be it you drink the water he's dead now but maybe he's dead regardless but I don't know kind of the vibe that I had but I don't think I don't think that's the case though. charge you with attempted bribery. No, man, I was just... <laughs> <laughs> right in the face. Can I have it back? Don't think so. You ain't getting no What's that, a table leg? That's cute. 
I'm actually pretty hurt though. Off with his head. Was hoping I could knock him into the barrel. One of these days I'll do that. It's a bit difficult though. I think later on we'll be getting some skills like... What was it? Like in Dying Light 1 there is an ability that you'd have where you could grab them and use their momentum against them and just like throw them across. This dude's going all out on this one basic zombie. No chance, my man. I like the environmental weapons, so that's a pretty cool thing. I I kind of miss like the basic Oh, no power. Hmm. I kind of miss the basic traps, like um, you know, like the oil fuel that you could set on fire and the general electric traps that you could trigger for a bit. It made playing with the basic zombies a lot more enjoyable, but maybe we get access to that kind of stuff later on. Who knows? This thing having no power is a little bit suspicious. Hmm? Jammed lock? Somebody's thirsty. Man, there's stuff everywhere, though. Like, actually everywhere. It is nuts. A much busier world than in Dying Light 1, I feel. Ah, <laughs> uh, God. Come on, Aiden. Hands! Don't drink Hans? it! Hans, you there? I'm going in. Dude, that'd be great if it was a Pathologic 2 thing where it's like, well, no, you didn't get there within a day. It didn't tell you there's a, like, time limit explicitly. It didn't reveal a timer or tell you how long you've got. It's just, wonder if you get there in time. Oh, uh, you got distracted? Oh, too fucking bad. One of the really cool things with Pathologic 2 is that time is constant in, in that. Water. <coughs> oh, that moron must have taken the wrong bottle again. Forget his own head if it weren't stuck on his shoulders. Hey, what did you mean by the wrong bottle? He always takes a little rocket fuel with him when he goes hunting. But the booze is right here. That means he's got water. Where is he? And what business is that of yours? The water he got from Julian. It might be contaminated. He's hunting at this... Uh, the military tower, a, a few hundred meters west of here. Unless he's at the courts. I'll go to the tower. You check the courts, fast. Wait, wait! Take the booze with you, in case he's already drunk some of the water. I bet what's in this bottle will kill whatever's in that one. I don't think that's how that works, but I don't know enough to really say. Okay, I hope you're like really cool in parkour and stuff, like also had military training, because I'm just going to send you off on your own to check the courts, whatever that is. Like the food courts? Maybe you could get some kebab on the way back. Oh, fuck, that sounds good. Ugh. All right. Hands! That's Marco. Favorite hunt? You said a few hundred. That's like right over, that's just across the way. I got this marked? Yeah, I think so. Okay, how much uh, lightning bolt do I need for that? Ah, 160. Yeah. Okay. I could also possibly get a, uh, like a stamina drink to improve my max stamina temporarily. Just across the way, huh? Don't do anything stupid, Aiden. All right. I need to use my binoculars. Do I got a binoculars? Him? Ah, that looks good. 
UV shrooms. They're just having a nice meal. I don't think they're too bothered with me. Okay. It looks like shit out there, dude. Can we actually go there? No, okay, that's like some nasty sort of wasteland area. Hans! Are, are you Hans? What do you want? Did you drink any of that water? Goddamn right I did. Tasted like piss. Ah, shit. That may have been poison, Hans. One sip. Then I spat the shit right out. Must have mixed up the bottles again. Whatever. Whatever? Are you usually this calm about being poisoned? Who gives a shit? Not my wife, I bet. Don't think she loves me anymore. I've realized that the yellow text indicates that we're, like, moving on. The sort of non-lower option. It's your booze. Take it. Your wife said chug. She didn't. Drink it already! Bullshit. What? <laughs> my wife said that. My Anna. She thinks the alcohol's strong enough to burn the poison out of your system. Ha! My woman. <laughs> so she loves me after all, despite her bitching and moaning. And they say romance is dead. Here, for making my day. And maybe saving my life. <sighs> Look, you need any help getting back? Nah, I'm good. Me and this bottle of booze still got some work to do. Cool. Five leather. Is that a lot? I don't know. Thanks. Thanks, Hans. So, now we can talk to Marco. I imagine you could have just gone right to Marco and you would have missed out on that hot, hot five leather. Ooh, uh... Sometimes Aiden just like goes sideways. I don't know. He's just like teeters off to one side and I don't know how to control it yet. <laughs> hmm, hey, 